season's greetings and welcome to a festive video with Caledonian Horticulture. As you can see, I've got quite a busy table today and that's because we'll be creating a table decoration for our Christmas dinner. Now, instead of having three big feature events, we're gonna have lots of small ones and all together, they're gonna create something that's really exciting and really festive. We're gonna be using things that are recyclable, such as jars from the house, jam jars, marmalade jars, or things from the garden or on a woodland walk, such as pine cones and any cuttings, any plants that you can get from your garden. So we're gonna begin with name tags for where we'll be sitting. Here, I've got these, I already had these, but you can cut them out of card or paper, anything you like. Cone that we found on our woodland walks with my daughter and a gardener's best friend, which is the twine. Really simple. We just thread it through here and pull. I'm just gonna tie a knot on the end so as not to allow it to push up against the card and then it break. And then from here, just separate it a bit fiddly. I'm just gonna really wrap it around the bottom of the cone. I'm gonna tie a single tie and then a bow. Take my scissors, I'll we'll kind of cut there, here. And then all you have to do is just angle it oh, nicely there. Next up, we're going to work on our centerpiece, and these are quite tricky, but they're really special. First up, you're going to need some paper. Now I'm using some score sheet, some sheet music here, vintage. I picked this up in a charity shop for about £1.50, and I just think they look brilliant. And what we're going to be creating out of them are three trees, one large, one medium, and one small. And this is going to be the small one. To begin with, what you really need to do is to draw a triangle that's the shape of a Christmas tree. So if you just have a look here, we've got the three lines there making the triangle and then I've just knocked out all the other space. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut this to shape really quickly. The good thing about using this score sheet is that more often than not, it tends to be on really th quite thick, high quality paper. and it has an aged look to it, which for me has a real vintage vibe and I really like it. Now we've completed that, here comes the tricky part. We have our triangle. We need to draw a center line down the middle and then we need to mark where we're gonna have our folding lines and our hole punching lines. So here we've drawn a center line all the way down the middle. Every four centimeters, you're gonna draw a little line along that center line, here, here, and here. These are your folding lines as we're gonna fold this uh, triangle shape in a concertina fashion. Now we have a star one centimeter above every little line. They're gonna be your hole punch lines. So every four centimeters, a line for folding, and for every centimeter above that line is the hole punch line. Now the little stars that I drew, which was one centimeter above the folding line, I'm gonna punch a hole. I'm gonna use the end of a kebab stick and I'm gonna re-knead this in a minute. So here, just using a cork board as protection, I'm gonna push through, that's one, two, or you need to put in a bit of force, three, four, and the last one, five. And here you'll have along the line, five holes. Now we're gonna to wanna to keep hold of this kebab stick because later on, this is gonna thread through the holes for what would be really a standing tree. But here comes a really tricky bit and this is the folding. So as we can see here, we have our lines they're gonna be our folding lines and they're gonna be in concertina. So the first one, I'm just gonna pull back and do a line there. I make sure it's firmly down. Then I'm gonna fold it back this way, find my dot there. I can use that 
as a guide to make sure that I'm true. Here, down the middle, make sure that really push along these edges as well. You want really clean folds there. Make sure that it all lines up there. And then there's just a little sneaky one at the end there. At this point, I'm just gonna really push down and make sure all those folds are clean. Perfect. So here we have it folded in a concertina fashion. And now we're gonna thread this through the holes that we made previously. So from here, I'm gonna thread it up. There, they might need a little bit of wriggling. In there. A bit fiddly. There, there, and the last one. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit. Okay. And what you'll find is that you wanna get the point married up there. And you can use anything at this point, but I'm gonna use these gold stars. I'm just gonna take one off. There we go and then just use it on the back there. And then I'm gonna grab the other here and just try and match them up. That's not bad. And then just give it a good squeeze, the star on top of our tree. Next up, I'm gonna use one of these. I bought these from the works, probably about a pack of five or six for £1.50, so really affordable. I'm gonna just place it here. Now this is my smallest tree, so I'm gonna take my secateurs here and just cut it down so it's a bit shorter. Here, and then place it in there. I've drilled, drilled, drilled a hole in the bottom there. All right, so next thing, I'm gonna take my glue gun I'll just grab a bit of tissue here. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is just put some glue right in there. There you go. Don't have any stringy bits. Pop that back there. And then just before it dries, pop that there. And I'm just gonna hold it so it dries. Next up, over here, we're going to work on our candle. I've got this. This is a jar that we had from around the house. I had two of them from apple cider vinegar. So it's just recycling that. What I've done is that I've filled it up with water. Let me take this candle out. And then I've just put some twine along the top there, just to fancy up a little bit. I've got a cutting of eucalyptus from the garden. What I'm going to do is pop that in here. I'm just gonna shorten it down a tiny bit. So I'm just gonna take the bottom two leaves off. There. There. And then I'm just gonna thread it in gently. Now the eucalyptus have quite big leaves. So you do wanna be careful with this. Kebab stick, It'd be a handy little tool. And then just gonna lower it in and using the stick to kind of do any placement you like. And I'm quite happy with that. And then from here, I'm just gonna pop my candle back on top. And there we have our candle. That's three of our projects done. Next up, we have a mini bouquet. We'll do two of them. Yeah, let's put them there, hessian. This is a jar that had peaches in. So I had two of them and I'm just reusing them, washed through. And what I'll do is lay this hessian out here and place the jar in the middle. And then taking one of the corners, I'm just gonna fold it 
all the way in here, making sure it's nice and taut. Just move them. As I move around the jar, I'm going to create a fold there and keep pushing it all the way in, holding onto the edge, pushing it all the way in. Again, all the way in, so it's out of the way. And then for the last one, just tuck it in a little bit. There. And then what I'm going to do is take this elastic band and put it around the edge just to hold it for a moment there. So what you have is the hessian around the jar. I'm going to take this string here. I've got a lot of it. You need quite a bit of the twine because this essentially is going to hold the hessian taut to the jar. Put it here, move that out of the way. And what I'd advise is beginning with a single knot to keep it really tight there. So I'm going to pull it and then do a single knot so that's nice and tight there. And then I'm just going to fold it over there. Great. Once I've done that, I'm just going to remove the elastic band. I no longer need that over here. And I'm going to take the jar and wrap this twine around. Yeah. Always making sure to keep pulling in. This is what's going to really give you that shape of it being part of the bouquet. Keep going. Maybe there. Here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then when I'm here, I left a little bit of twine long so that I could tie a knot there. And then I'm just going to cut it. Yeah. So then you're left with this. From here, all that hessian that we tucked into the middle, we're going to pull out. Be sure to hold this down here. So we just unfold it. Keep pulling it all the way out. Oh, there we go. And then you have this. And what we love about this is how free it looks, but it's maybe a little bit too big for what we're going to be putting in there. So I'm just going to quite freely cut it down. I'm not going to make any particular shapes or anything. I'd like it to look quite free. There. Maybe here, just cut along there. Almost. Just a little bit less here. What I'd suggest is don't make really big cuts straight away because then you can't go back from that. Is make lots of little cuts because then you can keep going back and making further edits. There. I quite like that down a bit more. That a bit lower. And there you have it. Now we've done this, it's time to go into the garden and collect for our bouquet. So I've got my cuttings, I've got eucalyptus. I'm not going to fill this with water because eucalyptus dries really well. Alongside that, I've got some dried astrantia heads and two dried echinops heads. Alongside that, over here, I've got a pine cone that I've just attached to a kebab stick with some glue using the heat gun. And then here, some little faux berries, again, that I bought from the works for about a pound for a pack. And I've just wrapped it around a kebab stick here. And I'll use these 
for the decoration. So to begin with, what I'm really looking at is to follow the lines of the Hessian as it flows out here. I've just taken the lower leaves off. So I'll have something like that there, just to keep following those lines out. Something like that. There. Maybe this one. There. And you can keep tinkering, but for now, that will do. I think I'll put that there. And there we have our eucalyptus. From here, I'm going to look at where there's any structural gaps. And I think right there is the perfect place Oh, accommodate the leaves, the estrantia here, and uh, maybe one behind, just so it looks good from several angles. Great, really happy with that. And then the echinops heads, I might just put them one down here, just so it's sitting nice and comfortably. And another one. Ooh just there. That looks fun. Okay, and that's what we've got so far. And to finish it off, we need to add these. Now on the, on the kebab sticks, they will be a bit too tall. So it's good to have your secateurs on hand just to shorten them. But I'm just going to check first. I'm happy. Let's find a root in. Tiny bit shorter for this one. Here. I think looks good. Yeah, really happy with that. I love the berries, these kind of faux berries, because they add a real punch of colour to these displays. And for me, really signify that kind of festive timing. That's great. Tiny bit more off here. There. Maybe round the back, amongst the Estrantia, just so it looks good from several different viewpoints. I quite like that there. And I think if I turn it around, it looks a little bit quiet around here. So I'll add in another. Do that here. You can also use them to prop up anything as well. So this Estrantia around the back kind of falling a little bit. So this just helps it prop up a little bit there. And that's great. Next up we have our napkin holders. I'll bring this over. Have my napkin, some more twine some dried eucalyptus, cinnamon stick, some dried orange that I did two weeks ago, some more twine, and a portion cut out of an empty toilet roll holder. Put that back over here. Now the first part of this requires a little bit of trickery with tying this twine around this offcut of the toilet roll holder. So first things first, we're just going to tie a knot here. Leave enough length of string there for tying at the end. Yeah. Grab that. And then cut. And we have that. Now we've done this first part, we can move on to the second. So I've got the twine here and I take this orange. I've punched it two holes on either side. And what I'm going to do is thread some of it through one end and then the other bit through here and then back up through the other hole there. And what you end up is with that. And I'm just going to tie a knot on the very top, a little clumsily as it would seem but not nonetheless. There you go. Here. And then from here, 
I'm going to add the eucalyptus. I'm just going to trim this down a tiny bit. Add the eucalyptus there and then the cinnamon. And really what we want is it to fall over the center. So right there. I'm just going to thread this around here and do a one handed kind of knot. Copy it again. There you go. You can fiddle around with it afterwards. From here. Like that. And then just very simply tie a bow. And to finish it off, I'm just going to cut back these bits here. I'm going to take my serviette and see if I remember my fancy folds here. There. Hold it back. There. And I'm picking it up the middle and we'll just thread it through this way and we have a wonderful and very pretty serviette holder. <laughs>